sometimes necessity really is the mother of invention. The 19th century gentleman scientist Henry Fox Talbot decided that he really had to develop some means of capturing natural images durably on paper for one simple reason. He was bad at drawing. Since ancient times, people knew about the principle of the camera obscura. When light passes through a small hole in the wall of a dark room, an inverted image of the scene is cast on the wall. A portable version was invented in the 17th century, and in the 18th century, it was discovered that some chemical compounds darken when they're exposed to light. In the 1800s, several entrepreneurs and scientists used these insights to develop primitive cameras. And in 1840, Henry Fox Talbot, the man who didn't think highly of his own drawing skills, discovered that exposure on a chemically treated paper left an invisible image that, with further chemical treatment, could later be made visible. Talbot was inventing what came to be known as film. Others improved on the process, but in its early days, photography was still just for professionals, with chemical knowledge and heavy cameras on tripods. That changed in 1888, when George Eastman invented the Kodak, the first portable camera to use roll film. For the first time, you did not have to be a professional photographer to take photos. You press the button, we do the rest, was the slogan. And as the price of a camera collapsed, its use to capture images and to replicate them exploded. Eastman was making a fortune selling the film his customers used in his cameras. Just like any technology, the improvements in photography have been the result of constant experiments and disruptions. And you ignore that at your peril. Kodak continued to improve their products. They bet that film would be around forever. But suddenly, in 2012, the once dominant company in the entire film business filed for bankruptcy. New digital cameras had hit the marketplace. They had no need for film because they relied on digital pixels. And that meant that anyone could take an unlimited number of pictures, print them out or store them in their computers for a fraction of the cost. The paradigm had shifted. And in a classic case of creative destruction, the old Kodak cameras and roll film were finished. Out with the old, in with the new. And the dark irony of it all? The first handheld digital camera was invented in 1975 at Kodak. But the company failed to invest in the new technology. They believed it would just cannibalize their profitable film business. The inventor, Steve Sasson, has said that management's reaction to his new invention was, that's cute, but don't tell anyone about it. So. After nearly 100 years of industry dominance, the titan of film stopped innovating and stagnated, and eventually faded away like an old photograph. Hey, check out these other great videos from Free to Choose Network. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get updated on episodes of New and Improved with me, Johan Norberg.